Whether toting bottles of cola in holiday commercials or nestled in plush form beneath the arm of a doting child, polar bears are universally loved, powerful hunters who, because of their cuddly look, have won a special spot in our hearts. But as our global climate changes, ABC's Tanya Rivero follows one bear's quest for survival. Polar bears are among the Earth's most magnificent creatures, the top of the Arctic food chain. There are only a handful of truly iconic species on this planet, and polar bears are one of them. They are absolutely extraordinary at what they do. Hunt and kill. But times are tough for these ferocious rulers of the ice. Meet Ice Bear. At three years old, he's a teenager in polar bear years, setting out on his first summer alone. But along with the thrill of independence comes the challenge of survival as the ground beneath him melts away. Last year, the extent of sea ice lost during the summer was the greatest ever, ever recorded. How could his mother possibly have prepared him for such a drastic change in his environment? Ice Bear needs to eat at least 40 seals to make it through the long summer months when polar bears go into a state of semi-hibernation. And a few generations ago, he would have had another month of spring to hunt. Polar bears are very strictly tied to the ice. Their main food is a ring seal. If the ring seal goes away, if the ice goes away, their basic forage base goes away. Nearly 2,000 bears live in Canada's Hudson Bay. Each year when the ice melts, some head south, swimming 300 miles to find a summer home. Along the way, the scent of walrus is too enticing to resist. But taking on a tusked creature more adept in the water means coming away with only a bloody nose. Ice Bear continues swimming, reaching land after 10 straight days without sleeping or eating. Unfortunately, it's a sweltering 82 degrees. Pure misery. In August, Ice Bear finally catches a break. A herd of walrus exhausted from binging on clams. He moves in and picks off a baby. It will last him for days. He follows this herd for the rest of the summer. As the temperatures finally begin to drop, Ice Bear encounters a pack of dogs. And something amazing happens. Instead of attacking his known enemies, he seems to seek their company. He's been on his own for a very long time has been struggling to survive. It looks like he really gains a measure of comfort in the company of these sled dogs. Finally, in December, sweet relief, winter has returned. Ice Bear has survived the long, hot summer on land, one of the longest on record. The polar bears serve as the apex predator, and their function is to control and to balance that system. So as the polar bear populations become stressed, it's kind of an indication that the system itself is stressed. Scientists project within 30 years, two-thirds of all polar bears could be gone. It's a wonderful thing about life. We figure it out. That gives you hope that we're under these dire circumstances, that polar bears, too, can find a way. The problem is that we're forcing them to do it in a generation or two. Here's hoping that, like Ice Bear, his grand cubs will find their way. I'm Tanya Rivero for Nightline in New York. Ice Bear airs this Sunday, March 31st, on Nat Geo Wild.